and I am leaving in two weeks. Uh, this is happening. This is happening. I'll be honest, I don't know where I'm going yet. <laughs> it kind of is eating home the fact that I sold everything and I'm super excited to go sort of traveling. But it feels so strange because I always had either like a place or someone to speak to and I never felt home wherever I was. And I've learned now that home is not a place but what you have. And I know that I was missing self-love and I know also that the people that I had around me, not everyone, took me very far away from this feeling of home because I chose them because they were reflecting to me that I didn't love myself. So I chose people that was absent in a relationship because they had to teach me that I didn't love myself. And that has pushed me after like 10 years going through this cycle it's taught me that it's time to love myself and to show myself what I'm capable of and I know I'm capable of it but I'm very scared this whole traveling obviously is about enjoying what I'm doing but I it's also in a budget so I still need to look at that budget I want to go now just take the bag and go I don't have half of the things that I need and I'm super impatient I need to learn it. I see that the more I'm spending looking for it, the less movement happens because the more I overthink everything. And I wanted to be honest, I wanted to just record to how I'm feeling this moment in time. I'm so scared. You know, it's sad because although a lot of the things weren't aligned in my life and a lot of things didn't belong in my life anymore, I still miss them things because I love very deeply. I just need to get my shit together. <laughs> Oh, you know, this is not me being like negative. I find like when I expose myself crying, people feel like they need to show compassion and I appreciate that so much. But I kind of show it because I need to be true to myself and true to myself is feeling everything. Know that actually being true to yourself is the best thing you can do. I'm trying to prepare what's going to happen <laughs> and I've never gone solo traveling so how can I prepare for something that I don't know what I'm gonna find when we travel when I was like 16 internet was such a small thing back then you couldn't search and know what you should do what you shouldn't do what you should bring what you shouldn't bring you had no clue remember we'd go to New York and they did all this eye thing and finger fruit like, and I was like what's going on New York New York and we survived we traveled with like the actual map around Spain we survive so i know that you don't need all this information to survive or to even enjoy the travels and i kind of want to test myself to do these travels without too much research get there and ask the locals ask them to recommend me where to go what to do two weeks later okay let's do this oh, i've got a book guys Yay. <laughs> i've booked one-way flight first night in a hostel Booked insurance because that's very important. I am so excited to have nothing planned. If I try to plan, it doesn't feel right. I am so scared. <laughs> when I plan, I am so unhappy. I love when things don't go as expected. I have an idea of places I like to go, but I don't care how it goes when I go. I am just happy to starting this. Now I need to get everything ready. So <laughs> wish me good luck. Good luck. Because I only work under pressure, so most likely I'm going to do everything last minute and then I'm going to realize I have nothing. So we're going. <laughs> I'm so excited. So I am living in two weeks. I've been super lucky that my mom took me home. I've been with her for two months and I was able to digest everything that it meant to let go of my place, my house, being nine years in UK. I would just want to savor every moment I have left in here. Not like I'm not going to come back. But I also don't know how long I'm going to go for. And it just makes me be very conscious to enjoy the present moment. So, yeah, let's enjoy it. <coughs> what is what? Oh. The light bulb moment! Oh. This is for my hair. Got my microfiber, whatever it's called. <laughs> it's time to pack. No, that's what be, eh? Going to buy the last things for the travels. We've gone here. I was thinking to go to Decathlon. I'm gonna try this shop. I lost my mum. For when it rains. So today I'm going to my last appointment at the doctor's. 
wish me luck. I hope they can say that I can travel and I can do anything I want. So there's a week left till I go. Oh my God. I am living in a week. I can't believe this. I have nothing ready. Shocking. <laughs> and you know what? Most likely I'm not going to do it till last minute because I'm a person that I work better under pressure. And when there is no pressure, I don't feel the need to do something about it. But is that right? But I'm trying to start now. Are you the type of person that has it all planned and prepares it a week or a few weeks before and has it all ready? Yes, I am, yes, I am, yes, I am, yes, I am, yes, I am. Or are you the type of person like me that waits until you have a stress because you have no more time left? Five minutes till you go and you have to get it right. <coughs> Which type of person are you? Let me know in the comments. Did you see that? The whole light actually went. Thunderstorm. It feels like I've never heard a thunderstorm. Anyways, back to business. It's happened again. The light keeps going. Good morning. Today is the day that we're flying. to go to the airport let's not miss that flight that's very important yes yeah. we're living and it's 29 degrees right now we'll see what's the weather like in there Let's hope they let us in. <laughs> if not, we're not going anywhere. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Aquí también llevas dos teléfonos, ¿no? Ay, mierda, tengo otro. Sí, tengo un teléfono y un Kindle. Sí, sí, perdón. Hay que mirarlo, ¿vale? Sí, sí, sí. So we made it. They stopped me and the guys were in training. So everyone was looking and they like looked at everything. And I always am in trouble because I always somehow bring something and then take something out. So I do something. I was expecting it. So it happened. But now we are here. It's lunchtime. Literally was looking for the toilet and it was very easy to find because it stinks. I was just I'm just following the smell. Okay, so time to now find our taxi so we can get into the hostel. We go here. I still haven't told you where I am by the way. Guys, we just landed to Portugal, Lisbon. Yes. Mazali, aquí basta de ser que de fuck. Y junto al elevador. Aquí a la We have, we have the sexy time, isn't it? Say what? It's amazing, it's beautiful, this place. I was looking for a supermarket because I forgot my toothbrush. That's how we can find it here. This is how it looks. So this is our room for the next three nights. I'm number two. So I just got back. I did some work. We need to figure out what we're gonna have for dinner. So I've had some salad. I thought they used 
supposed to have for the direct. I think I shouldn't be doing this. What are you talking about? What do, I don't know what, what you're talking about. And I am watching some Netflix because I am actually absolutely exhausted. I am ready to go to bed. I'm gonna go shower and go meet more people. Shower time. The shower. Let's smell good. Let's go for a walk tonight. This is so cool. Say hi. <laughs> hi guys. Okay. Hello. 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 Uh, I'm sorry.